It's been just over a year since the first shovel of dirt was turned for Pittsburgh State University's Center for the Arts. As you can see, what a difference a year makes. We grabbed a couple hard hats, made a few calls, and we're going to go inside to give you an insider's look at your Center for the Arts. Let's go. How you doing? Great to see you again. Good to see you. Been about three months since we've been here last, and we're on the backside now. And wow, what a difference uh, just a few months made. Yeah, we're uh, we're moving forward. You know, uh, it's cold today, but uh, yeah, we're uh, charging on. Well, I tell you what, why don't we get in where it's a little warmer, and you can take us through some of the progress. Sounds good. All right. Jeff, we're inside here in uh, really kind of a backside hallway. What are we looking at right now? Uh, yeah, this area, this is all the back of house. You got your, uh, you got some office spaces back here, dressing rooms, green rooms, uh, and then some showers, stuff like that. So just everywhere, where, you know, this will, wherever it'll be to put everyone out. You know, when we first started that you talked about the complexity of a project like this, and as I look up, I see a lot of uh, HVAC conduit. Talk about how that works and, and just how complex this project is. Yeah, you know, one of the, I guess one of the most important things about the, the uh, performance space is obviously the sound. And uh, because of that, you have this big space that has to receive all these, the HVAC, but we can't duct it in like we normally would. So what you see back here is just where main, the main runs are and then we, we pop into these areas. But, you know, normally you wouldn't see this much ductwork for this kind of space, but this is supplying the entire building. So. Well. Uh, and you speak about the performance space, I understand we've got some more concrete poured in and it really begins to look like a real performance hall. Yeah, we've, uh, we actually have the mezzanine uh, poured out, all the risers, all the rows are in, and we've uh, poured the first few pours of our uh, the first level, and we'll finish that up this week. You know, you talk about the mezzanine, that's one place we've never been to. Can we go? Yeah, let's go check it out. Jeff, we're in an area that until now we've only seen in photos, the mezzanine. Yeah, we're, uh, we're looking on level one here. We're up on the mezzanine, and uh, this is rows A through J. Uh, as you can see, we poured the first few rows there. We got another set of fours that we're doing tomorrow, and the plan is by the end of the week to have uh, A through J on that first level finish. We talked about the importance of sound, and as we hear the blower right now, as I look below the stage, you've got a bunch of holes underneath the seating. Why is that? Well, uh, yeah, this entire space, is, it's, it's, there's a plenum underneath of it, so uh, this is all a shore and pour. Um, and when you're done, you'll have this space underneath, and the air will be pumped into it. And underneath, underneath each seat, where there'll be an eight-inch hole, and that's where the air will, will get into the space from. And uh, basically, it allows the the, uh, the space to have, you know, the the air to exchange, but you don't actually hear it. Another day of uh, construction in Kansas, right? Well, this isn't the only stage you're working on right now. Right, we have a small theater just over there, and uh, we actually have the mezzanine uh, structural steel finishing up today, and we're going to do a pour on that this week also. Can we go take a look? Yeah, let's go look. All right. Jeff, we're over here right now in, uh, I hate to call it the smaller stage, but really the performance stage. Exactly where are we in the process? Uh, well, right now we're uh, we're finishing our steel for this mezzanine. This is actually what you're looking at as the mezzanine level in here. Uh, this area will actually end up digging down where the seating will be uh, below. We're actually standing on the stage right now. Uh, we're gonna get ready, we're gonna pour this on uh, Friday into this week. And then um, we're actually gonna start our duct work, fire sprinklers, and get everything start painting it. And the last thing we'll do is actually come in and dig out that lower seating. Amazing. You know, the thing that I find similar with this and the main performance hall is I don't think there's going to be a bad seat in the house. No, I mean, you'll be right on top. This will be, uh, you know, as you can see, there's a second level up there that where there'll be two rows, and uh, yeah, it'll be nice. Jeff, you've just made a lot of students very happy when they see this. Uh, I mean, I, I just built it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one more shot I just got to get. You know, from the road, we start to see the panes of glass come in, and I've just got to get you out there and help us explain what's going on. Yeah. 
Jeff, we're out here in front and really getting a sense of what this is going to look like when you drive up on opening night. Uh, yeah, you know, like I said, you can see the glass here and uh, you start to see kind of the shape of our of our parapet soffit there. Um, yeah, we're uh, this will be a nice looking building. Now, what are we going to see in the upcoming months? What's next for this? Well, obviously, we're going to continue with our glass. Yeah, we've got about another uh, four weeks of glass install. Uh, and then uh, metal panels are, will be coming probably in the next six to eight weeks. Uh, roofing is going on right now, and actually that should be done probably within the next two weeks. And then uh, once we get our glass in, the heat will start turning on, and once that happens, then we can start looking at some finishes. All right. Well, Jeff, can we come back and see you in a couple months, maybe when it's a little warmer? All right, I'll let you get back to work. All right, thanks. Thanks, Jeff. There you go, an insider's view at your Center for the Arts. Great looking piece, and it's going to be an amazing addition to the campus of Pittsburgh State University. Remember, you can be involved in it. Seats are available. Go to our website for more information at pittstate.edu.